Hello and welcome, my name is Skitcraft, and welcome back to Dredge, the Iron Rig DLC. So, uh, last episode was pretty productive in my opinion. Uh, we also have a new friend that likes hugs. Got all these eyes that constantly move and look around. And that is gripping the legs of the, the Iron Rig. Actually, I'm curious. Because if I go in my crab pot, it's a hundred meters down. That's how deep it is right here. Curious if it gets any deeper. Yeah, about a hundred meters down. So that is quite the squid or whatever that thing is. Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's head over to Stellar Basin. That is our next area. We have a new oil spill here. Uh, we learned about the daughter of the scientist who has developed some technology to possibly talk to that thing. Might just be a Google Google Lens translator. We, we don't know. Okay. What's up, whale? I hit you with my boat. Oh my gosh. Almost did. Uh, so... I'm gonna go a little bit more this way. And we'll use some boost power. Get out of here. Okay, I see some sort of something in the distance, and that's definitely where Stellar Basin is. I wonder if it's akin to the thing in Stellar Basin. Because that thing is massive as well. Not as big as that iron rig. Um, Huggalicious friend, but. Still. Actually looks like her outpost right there, so that's kind of nice. So I'm just going to talk to the daughter first. Is that a box? Boop. Let's get dredging. Perfect. One's better than none. Excuse me, scary, scary insanity clouds. Hello, researcher. Um, some someone from Ironhaven Corporation sent me. I didn't expect that name to follow me all the way out here. Perhaps that was naive of me. So, what do you want? Um, Ironhaven's Corporation head scientist seems to know you. Oh, I know him. He's the reason I was posted all the way out here, so far from home. He might have mentioned that I studied under him, but I studied him too. His theories on nature's cycles were odd. He never went into much detail, but his work has some curious influences. I heard whispers through the door of his office, saw confusing diagrams that lingered in half-erased chalk dust and on torn up shreds of paper. Never could make much sense of it. What else? The Ironhaven Corporation has been constructing a drilling platform. Oh, and you're helping with that, I suppose? Do you have any idea what they're even doing? She turns away and tries to recompose herself with a few deep breaths. Of course you don't. You're just trying to help. But you've seen what happened to the water here and elsewhere, I imagine. Tell me about the defensive tech you've been working on. Well, it's the same tech used in that repulsion machine I gave you. Thanks. Strictly speaking, I wouldn't call it a defense system. It doesn't interact with anything on a physical level. You see, Ironhaven's Scientific Communication Division has been long working on projects to further their exertion over the natural world. It's complicated stuff, but essentially they're trying to emit signals to communicate with, well, anything they wanted to, I suppose. The tech I've been working on is along those lines, but instead of a wide spectrum of communication, it attempts to broadcast a single word, flee. That's actually really cool. It emits a vocalized panic res it re emits the vocalized panic responses of every animal I was able to gather acoustic data for. We need to protect the rig and its workers. <sighs> I couldn't give a damn about the rig, or the core. But not everyone there deserves to face the consequences of the corpse actions. I'll give you some schematics. I'm not sure someone there is smart enough to decipher them and get it built. Oh, I am sure. Nice. Uh, just don't let them think this means I forgive them, or that I approve of what they're doing. Oh. So now I have...
So now I have the um, plans for the schematics. So that's super super cool. So that's a uh, that's pretty nice. So now I actually we should probably. You know what I don't have? I don't have a crab pot. Rats. Um... I'm pretty sure I need to crab pot one of them. Well, we will see. See you later, loser. Idiot. Alright, um, let's go... Find some oil. First thing we can do, which is might be a great idea, is to set this off. Activate that. It's really cool the fact that they like, reintegrated some things that were already, like, part of the just regular campaign. Like, uh, I like how it, now you know what the machine is doing. It's telling others to flee. That's just, I don't know, that's just really cool to me. Tripod spiderfish? These are gnarly looking things. Very hard to pack, though. Um, num, 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 num. Eagle shark. That's a pretty good little assortment of fish. And we'll get some haste on. Yeah, I, oh, I can just buy a buy a crab trap from her. Perfect. Where she is. What is that? Well, one step at a time. Let's uh Skedaddle. Is that a crab? It is. Can I pick that up? Perfect. So I do have a crab trap here. Fish market. 137. 70. And if I go to shipyard, that's where I can repair all that. And then bam. And then I can go here, drop that. That's crazy. So right now he's in the mindset that like, another one of his species is telling him to flee because there's something wrong. That's just, I don't know. That's super smart. Alright, let's, uh, not hit stuff. Where's this oil? There it is. My goodness. Drink it up. An aberrated tripod. That's gonna look sick. Stalking spiderfish. Ugh. So we got one of those. We already have one of those. Oh, 
Oh, get out of here. This light doesn't work at all. Oh, God. So, the red tornadoes, they follow you and hunt you down. So, be very careful with those. Where am I? Okay. Wow. That's kind of cool. So I just accidentally used banish. Alright, so that's where I need to be. Oh god. See you later, stupid. Yeah, I definitely need to rest a little bit. Oh, something slithered in my cargo? Oh. Well, probably sell that actually. Oh, I just sold something I didn't want to. Let's see if we got what we need from here. Blue crab. Blue crab. I think I might need to put it in the oil. Why the oil is so far away from the actual like basin itself? Did lightning just strike? Angler fish. So let's... Where's E? Thank you. Crab pot. Drop that in there. We do need one of these now. So, I need four samples. We have our Abyssal, we have our Oceanic. I need a, a Hadel. And then, like, a Crab Pot one. Pretty sure that's how that worked. Could be one of these. Ooh, this might be it right here. Mahi, mahi. Well, that's not good. I don't have room for any of this. I don't have the patience for any of this either. Stop. Cutting right through the middle because I'm not afraid of you. Mm. 
my tiny bit of fruit to you. Alright, so it just infected another one of my gobs. Ow. Mm. Yeah, might as well. Um, I'll rest up. And then hopefully everything will be there. I mean, Hadel, Abyssal, Oceanic, and then the Crab Pot. Looks like we got spiny lobster. That thing looks awesome. Okay, so we got one in the crab pot. Beautiful. And it looks like we have some fishing spots in here. Mahi Mahi. I don't know if that's one of them. It's oceanic. Yeah, because this is the oceanic one. And then I need the tripod spider fish or whatever. Actually, that's not it. Come on, push through it. A oh, fang tooth. A little trophy. Cursed fang tooth. And a trophy. Find the uh, find the one I need because this is not doing well. Oh, there's the Hadel one. I come back on. Okay, I need the tripod, dude. What is all of this? the flag an anchor flag nice no get out of here oh, yes. oh my what is that Oh my god. Would you stop? Just hit my damn boat. Alright, I don't care if they're infected, I just need them. Alright, um... Probably get rid of these Mahi Mahi. Ah!
Oh. Alright, so I think I have all of them. Okay, goodbye. Now, where do I gotta go? Actually... Now I'm a little bit closer. And where... There you are. Oh my... Don't you dare! Bang tooth. Good. Don't care. Bang tooth. Perfect. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Are okay if see fog shapes rest. Careful nightmares. You stumble past him into town. Yikes. Alright. I need Okay. Well, I wanna sell this, so I'll sell that. I'll sell this. Why? Ugh. Well, I guess we're going back. To that terrible place. It's even like a safety measure, so you don't sell everything, you have to hold the button. And for some reason I was like, oh yeah, totally, that's that's a good idea. Uh, such a an awkward I think he wants a mahi mahi. Oh, sea slug. Oh, that might have been the one that he actually wanted. Get out of my way. Okay, I'm just gonna sleep, because I hate dealing with the night. Not the way I want to dock. But sure. And there should be some oil on this side as well. Oh, I went in the basin. Way to go. Alright, there's nothing there. Mahi Mahi, don't care. Bang Tooth. Eagle Shark, I already have. The weird looking fish. Yeah, try and sift her up. This place sucked. There were so many, so many of those like weird things. All right, so now we're getting the Hadel. and then the tripod. Okay. Alright, and back we go. We're not selling a damn thing. But I am curious if I... Her dog? Oh! 
There's a skinny brown dog leaping around the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Disembark. You jumped off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Um, throw some fish toward the dog? You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and shallows seawater. And swallows seawater. Uh, I'm gonna call for him. The dog wags his tail briefly but doesn't move. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. And then throw some fish. You throw some scraps toward the... Oh, so this is like a combination. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. And then call. You make soft, encouraging noises. The dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Hold out some fish in your hand. Hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begin licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. You pat the dog again. Seems to be enjoying it. Alright. Can I just keep... You make your way back towards the boat, and you're waiting out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting the through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow me. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail's wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. I will throw away every single fish I have in my possession. To make sure that I can have this this little sh little shoom shoom. Damn it all! Well, there you go. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling to a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Um. No. I am the permanent home. Alright, let's go back to the middle area. Actually. Isn't there a... Where's that black stone... I wonder if... Steel point. Need to go kind of north. Let's make our way back. Because, I mean, that person at steel point, they're alone? So, I mean, to me that makes sense. I could also bring him to the Morrows. So if you want dog, ten bucks, twenty bucks. Ah. The engineer's companion. She hands you a book. It's dusty, uh, but otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Ah. Stop making that noise. All right, Excelsior. It wasn't steel point. I wonder where... Oh, maybe the scientist. Because she's lonely. I mean, am I just giving her more responsibility, even though she can barely feed herself? What's up, dude? Show off. There's my home sweet home. Completely wrapped up in tentacles. Lights on, Motel 6. Okay, um... Ah. Defenses? So this is where we're gonna build some sort of machine to repel those tentacles, right? That's what the scientist mm. said. These blueprints are confusing. What even is... Okay, I think I follow. 
If I go net, grab one of these goopy guys, and then one of these goopy guys. Destruct? We'll get started. Defenses are primed, turning them on now. This said better work. A droning voice begins to sound from the top of the rig, reverberating through the metal down into the deep. Cool. Get out of there, you little scamp. Yes, remarkable. The power spikes, hmm. Fishman, don't forget about those samples. He walks away muttering something about modulating voices and waves. The defenses are operational, emitting a droning sound that grates at the ears. Now, I think... That sea slug is adorable, by the way. The scientist arranges the specimens, now laid out on a metal table in front of him. He connects electrodes and wires to the head of each. <laughs> the brains of fish are primitive. In many ways, their simplicity is a kind of purity. No burdensome emotions to confuse the data. Just as rigor mortis locks the muscles, the final shape of the mind is held by the brain. But it can be extracted. The room is pierced with the sharp sounds of capacitors charging. The corpses on the bench jolt in unison. Slackened muscles arch and tense before lying still again. The scientist is already looking at the four monitors behind him. The same vague shape strolls across each screen. Ragged circle, writhing cell, lidless eye, yawning pit. <laughs> the difficulty is in reading it. What is it? I've encountered strange creatures in the contaminated areas. Oh, what did they look like? You begin to describe the creatures to the scientist, but as you grasp at the images at your head, they melt away, replaced with swirling blackness in your mind's eye. After your description trails off, the scientist looks at you with some concern. Long nights at sea, unusual weather conditions, sleep deprivation, this can all lead to auditory and visual hallucinations. Not to worry, best to get to some rest. Do you know anything more about the prehistoric fish I found? Nothing useful, aside from confirming with some peers that they are indeed species that were previously thought to be extinct. There's even a special name for that, you know, a Lazarus Taxon. A species seemingly raised from the dead. Cool. Outside, the foreman is in conversation with a recent arrival to the rig, a stern-looking man in a suit. Huh. But sir, the seafloor here, it, it shouldn't be disturbed. This whole rig is built on some kind of living fault. You have to trust me. Oh. Trust you? You, who couldn't even keep shipments in order? Who involved locals just to save your own hide? The foreman cover <laughs> cowers behind a clipboard. Huh. You, who put this whole operation in jeopardy? Enough of this, your concerns end at steel and scaffolding. The future of this corporation is for me alone to decide. That's the executive. Hmm. Fire it up! Oh. The drill descends once more into the blackness under the rig. <laughs> Not good, buddy. Not good at all. The man in the suit turns to you, hmm. and we're back on track. While he overstepped his corporate responsibility, it appears the foreman was right to enlist your insistence. There's one final building that needs to be constructed on the platform, Fleet Services. Without this building, we're unable to scale our efforts efficiently. Oh. I'll cut you a deal. If you assist in the construction of this building, I'll permit the workers to fit your vessel with a significant hull upgrade. After that, I don't want to see you around here anymore. Our operation is confidential. Oh. Get on with it. <sighs> Gotta get this place operational or the boss will have my head. Don't worry, buddy. I got a box here for you. Hmm. Alright, we'll get to work on fleet services. Everything should be operational here, sir. Excellent. Remember, fisherman, I'll permit the workers to upgrade your hull with our tech here. But I think you know how this works by now. You'll have to gather the materials yourself. We can make improvements to your vessel here, including some cutting-edge Iron Haven tech that you won't find anywhere else. Oh, it might be all of this. No? I don't know.
I need wood. Yeah. But I ain't got it. I got two more rod spaces, I guess. He's looking at the shroom now. Oh, it shows like an updated map of the, the tremor. So it started here, went to the Maros, the Maros went to... Uh, what is that place called? Gale Cliffs? Gale Cliffs broke into the Stellar Basin, now Stellar Basin broke into the Twitch's Strand. Yes? You seem concerned. Concerned? No. Concern implies he turns to look at you, one of his eyes is bloodshot, the white completely overrun with dark red blood. Concern implies that we didn't know this would happen. My boy's going insane. Have you learned anything from the dark fluid I collected? It's unlike any substance I've ever seen. Touched. It's smooth one moment, silky, and the next sharp, stabbing. The scientist flinches at something in the air above him. A moment later, the lights flicker. The subtle pop of a blown capacitor can be heard somewhere on a nearby bench. His voice drops to a, bre a breathy murmur. It holds secrets, instructions, whispers. And I'm just gonna... The fish from Twisted Strand, do you have them? Mangrove, shallow, crab... Okay. So here's where I should start thinking about... Doing the mangrove mission? I don't know, we'll have to see. I might try and just finish out the... The rig, and then do Twisted Strand and Devil Spawn. I'm not too worried about it. You go to storage though. Alright. Uh, what's your opinion of the boss? My master? Oh, the executive? Yes. It's... he's everywhere. Very hardworking, always has been, always will be. He needs me, my work. It all has to be correct, do you understand? We have to be in the right place, or else there's not much time left. What does that mean? No, not you. Factory? I've been drawing up some plans for a new factory wing. Take a look if you get a chance. Let's see what we got. Hey, two? We have one. Hull and stat improvements. I might actually might actually do that. Huh. That's everything we'll get to work. So if I can improve my improve my hull, that'll be very nice. Roto Reprogrammer. Increases the rotational turning speed of your vessel. It's kind of nice. Absorbs excess heat generated from hasted engines. I absolutely need that. It looks like... I have to collect that ooze that gets thrown in my hull. It's kind of neat. All right, a generator and sell some rotting crabs. Super delicious. All right, I think. Just trying to make like very small improvements. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna rest because if I can get like another. Um, speed upgrade, then I can do that. Go to the onion market. Yeah, there it is. So now we're at 81.9, which is pretty nice. Put those in there. Actually. Yeah, that was not able to suck up any oils. And then I'll grab the uh, research part because I need those. I'm pretty sure the factory actually I can use those. Or tech lab, that's what it was. Reverse gear motor. I'm just gonna do the heat sink. That's definitely what I need. I think it's a great time to stop. This has been the Iron Rig. Uh, we did the, the third location, which is super nice. We have the executive here now, being a poopy goopy. Uh, but yeah, 
Please stay tuned, I'm going to be going to the Twisted Strand next, going to be catching some very odd looking fish and discovering that new area because we have not seen that yet, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more like this. I always appreciate that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!